just going to have a little jam session this morning with our musicians. Come on, let's give God some praise, everybody. Let's give God praise. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands where you are. Get up and move this morning while the musicians play Mighty God. Come on. gospel exercise this morning. We just move side to side. worship experience on this Sunday, July the 26th, 2020. Once again, it's always a good thing oh, yes. to be able to give praise and thanks to God. Hopefully everyone is feeling pretty good where you are. Let me check in with you. I see everybody out and all. Sounds like everyone out north is doing well. What about out south? All right. Let me check on the west side of town. Everybody's okay? All right. And over here on the east side. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Let us go out down to, where is that out there? Bastrop. Everybody Bastropping. Calling in. Cedar Creek is all doing okay. Georgetown, Round Rock, and all those good places. Hello, somebody. All right. Pflugerville. Hey, man. All right. And everybody's doing pretty good. You in a good mood? Hey, man. All right. Yeah, I hope you woke up this morning clothed in your right mind. Hey, man. So we're thankful once again to be here. And we've come to just give God the praise. I want you to remember this throughout this service and throughout this week, maybe. Remember this. You, I'm talking about you, are not forgiven for being obedient. You are not forgiven because of your good character. You are not forgiven due to your good behavior. You are forgiven only by the grace of God Amen. through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So let us praise God Amen. for forgiveness. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise God for forgiveness. Anybody at least done one thing wrong this week? Uh, so oh, you ought to praise God for forgiveness because most of us have done several things wrong. Isn't that right? Okay, then. It's good. It's good. Thanks be to God for your spirit thus far. Hopefully you are awake. Amen. And you are in the spirit there in your home. Whether you're in your bedroom, kitchen table, living room. Amen. Sitting up on the couch. Just let the devil know you can't have me right now. 
Because I'm in my praise mode. Amen. I'm in my praise mode. Amen. All right, as we prepare ourselves to go further in this worship service, you know it's always appropriate to go to the Lord in prayer to start off anything. To go to the Lord in prayer. Not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. COVID-19 still running rampant. Lord, we need you to find a cure and a vaccine for this. This COVID-19, oh Lord, we need you to give men and women the knowledge and the know-how to come up with a vaccine. And if you don't mind, oh Lord, we're going to be selfish and say we want you to help it to be done quickly. Quickly, Lord, for we're still losing people and people are going through severe sickness because of this COVID-19. We believe in you, oh Lord. We trust in you. But help us always to remember that your grace, though, is still sufficient for us to carry on. Can we do that? Your grace. Continue to lift up Sister Billy Nell Chambers. Sister Billy Nell Chambers was hospitalized this week. And talking to her, she says she's doing fine. In fact, she says she's doing real fine, all right? So, but she's still in the hospital. Hopefully she'll be getting out in a few days and returning home. But she still needs our prayers, amen? Still needs our prayers. God is able, the Lord has been with her for many years now, and brought her a mighty long way. So Lord, bring healing yet to her body. Bring healing yet to her body. Sister Billy Nell Chambers, we're praying for you right now in the hospital where you are, in your hospital bed. Praise God. Also know that we lost another member this week. Brother Lewis Goodall. Brother Lewis Goodall. Oh, Brother Goodall, all oh, his spirit with us men being on the floor, welcoming people. His spirit will be missed. But he's gone home now to be with the Lord. He's gone home. All services and arrangements for him would take place in Louisiana. Lake Providence, Louisiana. All arrangements and services for Brother Lewis Goodall would take place in Lake Providence, Louisiana. That's where his family is, his sisters, at least two sisters, and his mother is still living, as well as other relatives and friends. Services and arrangements taking place there, and they will let us know, and we will let you know in case you might want to attend. But most of all, be in prayer for the family. The things will go well in their arrangements and their gathering and their worship of you, O oh God, for his life. God is good still. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right. Come on, let us bow where we are. Where we are. Lord, we might not be feeling the best, but you for waking us up this morning. We might still have pain in our bodies, but you still woke us up and we're still able to move around. Hallelujah. Whether we're dealing with arthritis, 
rheumatism, thyroid condition. Oh God, you can take care of this temple of yours. Whether we are dealing with high blood pressure, diabetes, oh God, you can take care of your temple that we might be able to go on. Those who might be going to treatment for cancer, oh God, you can give us the strength that we need to bear it and to go on, oh Lord. For those experiencing family problems, you can bring the family together, oh God. We know that you can, for you've done it for us. Let that family be of one accord this morning this day bring them to the throne oh God and as we go forth oh God and being your church in times like these help us to still to have an impact because so many people are hurting oh God they need us spiritually they need for us to be there physically oh God to feed them to give them comfort, oh God, to give them direction, oh God, help us to be the church where we are in the coming days, as you have done in the past. And Lord, we don't know how long we might be away from being in the building, but we can still be the church where we are, hallelujah. Now, oh gracious God, if you find anything Take it out. We want to have a degree of unity, a degree of peace, oh God. Help us to get along better with one another, whether we are Republican or Democrat. Help us to get along for the good of the nation, oh Lord. It's time for us to put politics aside and do what you call us to do. To help one another along a life tedious journey. Now, in the name of Jesus, we claim victory, oh God. Satan can't have us, can't keep us down. And now, God, we're looking to the hills from which cometh our help. Help is on the way, oh Lord. Send your angel right now, watching over us all day and all night. life. We're going to still give you the praise and the glory. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed this prayer and the people of God said, Amen. Come on, Amen. Come on, Amen. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody.
pain away God wants to heal you Praise God everybody let's give God some praise let's be in a worshipful attitude this morning this song says bow down and worship him worship him oh worship him come on everybody bow down down and worship him, worship him, oh worship him, bow down and worship him, Sing with me. Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Oh, worship him. Bow down and worship him. If you would go with me to the New Testament, the New Testament, First Thessalonians, right. 
chapter 2. First Thessalonians chapter 2. First Thessalonians chapter 2. Coming down to verses 17 and 18. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 17 and 18. Reading from the New King James Version translation of the Bible. First Thessalonians chapter 2. <clears throat> Verses 17 and 18 from the New King James Version translation. The words say in the 17th and 18th verses, but we, brethren, Having been taken away from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored more eagerly to see your face with great desire. Mm -hmm. And then the 18th verse. Therefore, therefore, we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and time again. But Satan hindered us. Paul says, we wanted to come to you, in that 18th verse, mm -hmm. even our Paul time and again, but, wow, Satan hindered us, but Satan hindered us. From that verse, that 18th verse, we pick up our theme, Satan wants to stop you. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, Pastor, come on. I'm just gonna say a few words to myself and if you <laughs> tune in, and, you know, it might help you. But I just want to speak on this particular thing. Satan wants to stop you. Mm -hmm. You know, Paul says that in that 18th verse, I wanted to come to see you time and time again, but Satan hindered us. Doesn't it say that? Yes, it does. So if you if you have a problem, don't believe there's a Satan. And have a theological discussion with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is the Word of God. All right. Wow. Here in this book of Thessalonica, mm -hmm. written sometime around A.D. 50. Thessalonica, as we know, my brothers and sisters, is the capital of the Roman province of Macedonia. When Paul arrived there, 
Paul and Silas. He only preached in Thessalonica for three weeks. Some say, well, why did he, did he only preach three weeks? Well, because there was some jealous Jews who stirred up a riot against him. So Paul and Silas, anybody stood up a riot against you, about to take your life, they left town in a hurry. This was part of Paul's second missionary journey. And the book of Luke records this in Acts chapter 17, verses 1 through 9. The writer Luke records this in Acts chapter 17, 1 through 9. Paul's letter was written by Paul to the young Christians at Thessalonica. Paul visited the Macedonian capital, we say briefly, but had to leave before the church was well established. Now he is writing for, from Corinth to encourage them. In his first letter, he also answers a particular inquiry, inquiry that they have, which is about the return of Jesus and the faith of Christians who have died. Mm -hmm. All right? right? Just want you to know a little something about it. But I came up with that thing, Satan what? Wants to stop you. Satan is a formable foe. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. If you don't watch it, he'll stop you from doing the right thing today. Oh, yes. Lord, Lord. Paul writes, I said once again, we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. Mm -hmm. Whew. Mm. Note the words time and again. Right. I said time and again in that 18th verse. See, when you have an assignment from God, mm -hmm. anybody on an assignment from God? Amen. Uh -huh. Been sent by God, huh? Mm -hmm. And you answering God's call, huh? Mm -hmm. And you say, I'm doing what the Lord has called me to do. Mm -hmm. Remember this, when you are on an assignment from God, listen up, listen up. Satan mm -hmm. will repeatedly attack God. you oh, and stop, try to stop you from fulfilling it. Yes, Lord. Ooh, you, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew I'd do it. That's Tell it. the truth. Oh, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Tell oh, the truth. Right. Oh, I said, when, when you have an assignment from God, I didn't say it from yourself, mm -hmm. but from God, mm -hmm. and you know it's God's call and what he wants you to do, yes, Lord. Satan will repeatedly, I didn't say just once or twice, <laughs> But Satan will what? Repeatedly attack you yes, and try to stop you from fulfilling that task. Woo. Woo. So Woo. true, so true. Woo. Lord, I'm just going to take a little walk. <laughs> well, Woo. shake it off, right? Mm. See, you think just because you made it one time, Satan will leave you alone. Mm -hmm. But he's coming back mm -hmm. tomorrow. Next day. Coming back <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, huh? I said Satan will what repeatedly. That means what over and over again to stop to try to stop you from fulfilling it. And most of all, when he stopped us one time, but that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm Reverend. I'm not going to do this anymore. 
I don't care if the Lord called me to do it. I'm not going to put up with you folks anymore. What y'all been saying? What y'all been talking? Amen. Huh? Well, huh? Well, and then we try to pray and talk you back into it. And you come back and you say, well, the same thing is happening. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, then I just said Satan will what? Repeatedly attack you and try to stop you from fulfilling your task. Yeah. But, uh, Mm -hmm. Lord, well, 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 my brothers and sisters, I'm just stop by to say Satan mm -hmm. wants to what? Stop you. Mm -hmm. Well, I want us to observe three things. And I'll probably be through. Amen. Yeah, yeah. He deserves but this, this this Satan, this, this stuff is real, amen. Yes, Lord. It's real. Amen. And it's sort of like we are at war with Satan. See, y'all didn't hear me there. Huh, huh, huh. I said, we are at, really at a war with Satan. I said, he's, every day he's repeatedly coming back, trying to what? Stop us. So we are at war. You, you, you remember that man, uh, y'all, I heard y'all sing it though. A little bit around here at Wesley. Uh, this is war. This is war. Mm -hmm. This is war. Wait, that was, it is, this is war. Yes. By, I think it was by Pastor Charles Jenkins. Amen. Yes, this sir. is war. Uh -huh. See, I really wanted the Monica to sing that today. Amen. But uh -huh. I didn't get it to in time. But uh, I think we can have it ready for next week because I'm, like, I'm going to be still with this war. Amen. This is what? War. Charles Jenkins said, amen. Do y'all remember that? Yes, sir. You know, he started off, he got a little bounce. He said, I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. Huh. Wow. Wow. Woo. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. War. Hmm. This is what? This means war. War. Well, what do you want to say about it? Satan wants to stop us. Satan wants to stop you. First of all, I want us to get this point, get this point. Satan attacks, Satan attacks. Reveal that he believes you are capable of accomplishing your goal. Oh, 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 uh, can I, I won't say that again, amen. No. All right, I might have somebody in San Antonio, amen. I, I don't know, amen, <laughs> amen. All right, li listen to this. Satan attacks, reveal that he believes <laughs> you are capable yes, Lord. of accomplishing you. your goal. <laughs> wow. Huh? You, you, you see why he's messing with you right now? Because wow. you are capable of accomplishing the task that you have been assigned. Hello? Come on, come on. Hmm? <laughs> so, when you are down, mm -hmm. when, when you are down, when Satan, when you're going to try to what, get you wet, down, Ooh. he wants to keep you there. Well, down. <laughs> so you can't get up and accomplish your what? Task. Mm. Ooh, pastor, come on, bring it. Ooh, you <laughs> preach it. Amen. Yes, Ooh. You are. Hallelujah. Ooh. All right. He knows. Satan knows. Amen. Satan knows. He's smart. He's, he's smart now. He knows if you rise again, mm. you will be stronger and more effective than ever. Oh, don't let me get back up. Ah, ah. If I get back up, Satan, amen. You better watch out, huh? Watch out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, 
because then I'm going to be, I'm stronger. I'll be wiser. Hello, somebody. <laughs> to take you on, and you won't be able to stop me. Amen. Wow. So Satan wants to stop you. So what did we say? This first point is Satan attacks, reveal that he believes you are capable of accomplishing your goal. Hmm. Woo. Wow. Boy, Satan not messing wow. with you. He, he probably think you can't. She can't or he can't do it. Amen. Well, uh, uh, he only deals with people, amen, that, that, that he knows that, boy, that if I don't slow him down and stop him, well, they, they'll be able to do anything and everything. Huh? Wow. Wow. Second, Satan wants to stop you. I want you to, the second point is, Satan always attacks the birth of something significant in your life. Mm -hmm. Bye. Wow. Uh, uh, mm. Can I say that again? Yes, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Thought I was going to hear somebody on the east yeah. side say something. Amen. All right. Huh? Satan always what? Attacks the birth mm. of something significant mm. in your life. Uh, Woo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. I'm going to walk again. Uh, Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yes, Lord. Uh, uh, yes, Lord. This is getting good to be here. Amen, y'all. Wow. All right. Walked in front of the camping if we pull up in everything. Oh, help me, Lord. All right. Satan always wants to attack the birth of something significant in your life. It may be the birth of your ministry. Wow. Wow. Ah. Huh? Come on, Pastor. You bringing up something that's new? And it seems like it's good and going to help people and make a difference in the community. Remember this, Satan is going to attack the birth of something that's what new or significant in your life. It may be the birth of your ministry. As with Jesus in the wilderness temptation. It may be the birth of your child of destiny like the birth of Moses, which initiated the killing of newborn males in Egypt in an effort to stop the exodus. Mm. So Satan wants to stop you. He will always attack the birth of something. What? Significant in your life. Lord, Woo. Lord, Anybody been attacked lately? Wow, well. Something significant? Yeah, Lord. Hmm. Have you been attacked? He attacked, reveals that he believes that you are capable of accomplishing your goal. Mm. Woo! Mm. Well, Charles Jenkins says, I got Satan on my what? Trail. Trail. Mm. But I'm singing all is well. But he's attacking what? Every day. Oh. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Huh? Ah, uh, well, y'all getting some of this today. Mm -hmm. uh, you might not shout off of this, amen, amen. Now, now, third point, I gave you one, and he revealed that he believes you are capable of accomplishing your goal, Satan. Second, he always attacks the birth of something significant in your life. And third, listen up, listen up, listen up! Mm -hmm. Out north, out south, east, and west. Listen up. Satan uses those closest to you as a gateway to your heart. Oh, mm. oh no. <laughs> 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 Say that again. <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord, that, that made me sweat. I got you. Oh, no. 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 I'm going to say that again. I said Satan wants to stop you. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the third point is, Satan uses those closest mm -hmm. to you as a gateway to your heart. I bet you some of you are looking around the house now. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Those closest to you as a gateway to your heart. Mm. Well, now, Matthew chapter 10, verse 
36. I know some is questioning me, real. Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. In the New Living Translation, in the New Living Translation says, your enemies will be right in your own household. Oh. Lord help, Lord help. Yeah, Lord. Sometimes. Huh? Sometimes. Yes. Well, uh, I'm just going to find it in your Bible. Matthew 1, 10, mm -hmm. verse 36. I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. Jesus said, Jesus said, your enemies will be right in your own household. That means they're going to be close. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Isn't that right? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have more problems with those closest around you than others who are far away. Isn't that right? Yes, yes. Huh? Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen, huh? Woo. No, no. Well, uh, now, did y'all get those three points? And that's the basis right there. Yeah. All right. Satan wants to stop you. I want you to observe these three things. Satan attacks, reveal that he believes you are capable of accomplishing what? Your goal. And then I said, second, Satan always attacks the birth of something significant in your what? Life. And then I just got through saying, third, Satan uses those closest to you as a gateway. Did you hear that word? Gateway. To your heart. And Jesus said there in Matthew 10, 36, your enemies will be right in your own household. Woo! Well, Satan's trying to stop us. Satan's trying to slow me down. He's working himself. He's working through other people. And someone is asking a question like I did. So what shall I do? Satan? His entourage that he has with him, what should I do? Well, listen to this. I know you've been waiting on this. Pray for them. Oh! Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Pray for your enemies. Uh, yes, yes. I said pray for those folks who are trying to stop you and to hinder you, to slow you down, to try to stop your ministry. Just try to stop you from accomplishing what the Lord wants you to do, huh? Right, Lord. What I'm going to do, just going to what? Pray yeah, for them. Listen up, listen up. Listen up. Your intercession is often the only covering they have. Mm. Oh, oh. Wow, wow, Ooh. wow. Woo! Woo! Come on, Chase. Wow. Come on, Chase. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. Hmm. All right. Your intercession for them is often the only covering they have. That's right. So you got to pray daily, because I told you Satan is busy, what? Daily, every day, huh? Mm -hmm. So you got to pray daily for the grace and mercy of God to be downloaded into their hearts. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Lord help. Whew. Whew. You got to pray what? Daily. Daily. For the grace and mercy of God to be downloaded into their hearts. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, and above all, never forget that your attitude is more important than the adversity you are experiencing. Wow. Y'all yes, better Lord, say that so again, too. Y'all not understanding yes, this. Amen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, and above all, never forget that your what? Attitude is more important than the adversity you are experiencing. Yes, Lord. Remember this. Attacks. When Satan attack you and others come against you, attacks pass eventually. But your attitude, if bitter or demoralized, can grow into a root of bitterness that will poison every day of your future, according to Hebrews 12, verse 15. 
Alright, alright. Oh, oh, oh Lord, this is good. Yes, Lord. This is good to me. Now, your influence, and I know we got some important people I'm talking to today. See, I'm talking to some important people out here. Alright. Your influence mm -hmm. in God's kingdom mm -hmm. determines the level of attack the enemy launches against you. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, I got these important, I got them, wow. they here, they here, they listening to me, amen. Wow. I got important people in Austin, amen. I didn't have them in Columbus, amen. But your influence, see y'all, we got people, big influence, in God's kingdom determines the level of attack the enemy launches against you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So don't get discouraged. Keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. For Satan wants to what? Stop you. Well, my brothers and sisters, ooh Lord, I thought I was gonna be short, but I got a little bit more to go, amen. Sometimes Satan attacks are obvious. <laughs> now in the Old Testament, the prophet Zechariah writes, in Zechariah 3, verse 1, Zechariah 3, verse 1, he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. Mm. Woo! Mm. Listen up. Lord, Satan usually prefers to work in cognito. <laughs> so frequently he will attack you through people, mm -hmm. especially as I have already said, those closest to you. Yeah, Ooh, mm -hmm. Anybody had a close friend? <laughs> mm -hmm. Close ready to be? Huh? I didn't hear anything out of North. Maybe somebody out South. Uh huh. See, the Bible tells us over there in John 13, verse 2, the evening meal was in progress. Mm -hmm. And the devil had already prompted Judas to portray Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what Satan will do? Yeah, so, I have told you we got to pray. But I got something else I need for you to learn to do. Amen? So, what's the best line of defense? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I told you to pray, but I'm going to say now you need a line of what? Defense. Mm -hmm. Well, listen up. Y'all paying me. Y'all paying me for this right here. You got to pay me for this. Your best line of defense is the living word of God. Oh. Y'all pay me for that. Y'all pay me for that. Amen. Y'all got to pay me. Amen for that. All right. The best line of defense <laughs> is the what? The living, living word. word of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You see, Jesus was exposed to a greater level of temptation than any of us will ever face. But Jesus quoted the scriptures to Satan three times and put him to flight. Well, Jesus quoted the what? Scripture. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I said. To Satan three different times and put him to flight. I'm going to get to that in Matthew, all right? Mm -hmm. But when Satan attacks your mind, yeah. well, he's messing with some of them right now. I'm going to try to say, I'll turn this off. Huh? Huh? <laughs> When Satan attacks your mind with temptation and condemnation, we what attacks your mind with doubts and feelings of inadequacy, mm -hmm. God's word is the shield. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. That he cannot penetrate. All right. Woo. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Mm, so true. Oh. So true. Uh, I said God's word mm -hmm. is the shield that Satan cannot Penetrate. Now you remember over there in the psalm that says over in Psalm 119 verse 92 in the NIV translation. Mm -hmm. 
David said, if your law, that's his word, had not been my delight, I would have perished. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. Well, we see Jesus did battle with the devil mm -hmm. for some 40 days and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And during that time, the devil <clears throat> came and said to him, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. Yes. Oh, but in the New Living Translation, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, mm -hmm. but Jesus told him, no, Satan, the scriptures say people do not live by bread alone, <laughs> but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yes, Woo! Lord. Come on, come on. Yes, Lord. You got to what? Speak the word. You got to what? Know the word. And I've already said he's going to come back after you what? Again. Mm -hmm. Huh? Then the devil. Matthew 4 and 5. Then the devil took Jesus to the holy city, Jerusalem, mm -hmm. to the highest point of the temple and said, if you are the son of God, jump off. For he says, the devil, the scriptures say, he will order his angels to protect you and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. But all Oh yeah, <laughs> Jesus responded and said, the scriptures say, you must not test the Lord your God. Woo! Right, right. Anybody know the word? Come on. Yes, Lord. Uh, well, I told you, he, 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 he's going to come after you time and time again. Mm -hmm. He messed with him once, he messed with him twice, and so... Satan says, the devil said, I'm going to come after him a third time, Jesus. Hmm. Well, there in verse 8 in Matthew chapter 4, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain mm -hmm. and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. <laughs> Come on, come on. Well, get out of here, Satan. Mm -hmm. Jesus told him, for he says, the scriptures say, mm -hmm. you must worship the Lord your God yes, yes. and serve him only. Oh, a line of defense mm -hmm. against Satan is the what? Living word of uh, God. Yes, Lord. Well, here at the end, after Jesus had finished doing battle with the enemy, Satan, mm -hmm. he says there in Matthew 4, verse 11, right. he says, the devil, mm -hmm. Satan, went away. <laughs> Wow, wow. Y'all didn't hear wow. that. This is special. I know. <laughs> Satan is going to try to stop you. But he put up his defense, the word of God. Uh -huh. And it says in verse 11, the, the devil, he, what did he do? He went away. away. Yes, Lord. And angels came and took care of Jesus. <laughs> Shouting now. You got to what? Stay in the word. Yeah. Well, remember, you are not alone. Mm. God has placed a cordon of angels around you to sustain and to protect you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. And angels, it says over in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14, angels are only servants. They are spirits 
sent to care for people who will inherit salvation, glory, well, here and now, I'm ready to take him on. I'm ready for the battle. I'm ready for the fight. Well, here and now, I like what Charles Jenkins said in that song. Mm -hmm. This is what? War. Mm -hmm. You can't have my family, Satan. Uh -huh. Come on, Bob. You can't have my increase, Satan. Wow. You can't have my breakthrough, Satan. Mm -hmm. You can't have my child, Satan. You can't have my grandchild, Satan. Wow. You can't have wow. my mate, Satan. Ah. You can't have my household, Satan. Fight for me and my house. We are going to serve the Lord. This is war wow. in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Ooh. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Come on, wow. give him a hand clap of praise. I 
Man. Woo. I hope you got at least one point out of this today, amen. Because I'm here to tell you, Satan wants to stop Ooh, you. Oh, yes, he does. Oh. I was to extend and what yours to accept. What a time we have had in the Lord. Amen. Mm. Thank you all for being here in the North Austin, Northeast, Northwest. Yes, Lord. Southeast and Southwest, and East Austin, and Lukeville, Round Rock, Maine, mm. amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Buda and Kyle, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. San Antonio, wherever else you're from, tuned in. We, we mm. all one family. Yes, we are. Yes. And we all are dealing with Satan. Mm. Amen. Now, don't forget. Uh, I know next Sunday is the first Sunday in August, but we won't do communion until the second Sunday, which will be August the 9th. We would do communion, celebrate communion on the second Sunday in August, which is August the 9th. Okay, put that down. We won't do it next Sunday, the first Sunday, which is August the 2nd. But just put that down August the 9th. All right, continue to pray for Sister Billy Nail and pray for the good old family, amen. Mm -hmm. That things would go well for them, putting their service together for their brother and their child down there in Lake Providence, mm -hmm. Louisiana. Yes, Lord. Thanks be to God that he was here with us and contributed and thanks be to God for members of our church who looked after him oh, yes, for oh, the yes. last several months. Oh, Amen. yes. Thank you, Lord. For the last several months of his life. Mm -hmm. I know Sister Ruth Gentle Robinson oh, was yes. one person. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Who was going by, checking on him, taking him food, and going to the store and all for him. And mm -hmm. also Sister Carla Hoxie. Yes, Lord. Thank checking you, Checking in Father. on him and helping him get a fouls and order and mm -hmm. saying about him. Yes, and I Lord. know other people in the church. Thanks be to God, we are that kind of Praise a family. Praise God. Amen. When Amen. biological family can't be around. Amen. So now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, <laughs> and the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. Let us all say amen, amen, amen. and amen. Keep the faith. song says I'll say yes I'll say yes Lord I'll say yes to your will I'll say yes family and friends. I come to you once again with an update on the financial status of our church. We have now closed the books for the month of May and the results were somewhat bittersweet. Bitter because our income was significantly less than what we budgeted. But this was expected because we did not conduct our annual Women's Day program and therefore did not receive the income that is typically associated with that worship service. It was sweet because our expenses were also significantly less than budget. And this is due to the expense management protocols that we put in place at the very beginning of this pandemic. The 
combination of those two resulted in a net gain for the month of May, which is great. So to quote from our financial secretary, Ken Harris, quoting directly from his summary report of our financial condition, and I quote, our church membership continues to rise to the challenge of supporting Wesley United Methodist Church financially, even though we are not able to meet physically, unquote. I can't say it any better than that. Now, I've reported in the past that we've been able to meet all of our church obligations, but our responsibility as a church goes far beyond just meeting our own obligations. We have to go out into the community and provide support to those who are in need. Matthew chapter 25, verse 40 says, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you've done it also unto me. Through your generosity, we've been able to do just that. Through your continued giving, we've been able to provide support to family elder care fan drive as we normally do every year. We've been able to provide support to the Ronald McDonald House as we've done in years past. And we've been able to provide programs for our children, youth, and graduating senior, although on a more limited scale than we have in the past. So thank you, Wesley. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I would like to close with a very appropriate quote from Matthew chapter 25, again, this time verse 23. And in that verse, Jesus says, Well done, thou good and faithful servants. Well done. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Ah. 